Okay, here we're going to convert our collections of revenue from a cash basis to an accrual basis. And when we're talking about a cash basis, this is where we've made some sale to our customer, but we do not record any revenue until a cash payment was actually received from the customer. And that can be sometimes down the road. Now, with our accrual system, we set up these accounts here. Our unearned revenue, which is a liability, and our accounts receivable, which is an asset. Now, our unearned revenue, this is where we receive cash payment in advance from our customer before we provide any goods or service to them. And our accounts receivable, this is where we provided some goods or service to our customer, but we don't get paid until later. Okay, for the accrual basis, this is how we'd handle these accounts. For our unearned revenue, this is where we receive cash payments in advance of any goods or services provided. We'd credit or increase our unearned revenue for that amount, and then we'd uh, debit or increase our cash for the cash payment that we received. And then as we earn these uh, revenues, we'd decrease or debit our unearned revenue account, and then we'd recognize it here or credit or increase our revenue here as part of net income. Now for our accounts receivable, this is where we provided the goods or services in advance of any payment. We debit or increase our accounts receivable for that amount, and then we immediately recognize it here in our revenue or credit our revenue here. Now as we actually receive payment for those goods or services, we credit or reduce our accounts receivable, and then we recognize that payment receipts here as cash or debit amount to our cash. Now for our calculation purposes here for this accrual basis, I'm going to take any of the changes here in our unearned revenue account and our accounts receivable and the balancing entry here would go to our revenue account. And that's for calculating our uh, accrual basis. Okay, when we're making this conversion to an accrual basis, what we do is we look for changes in our accounts here. So let's take us on earned revenue, for example, where we had an increase of $6,000 for the year. So we had a beginning balance of $22,000, ending year balance of $28,000. So there's where we had the $6,000 increase. So we credit or increase our unearned revenue for that amount. Now where we had a reduction for the year in that unearned revenue, we had a beginning year balance of $22,000, ending year balance of seven. So we had a reduction here of $5,000 for the year. So we would debit or decrease our unearned revenue by that amount. And that would be the same for our accounts receivable. Where we had an increase for the year, we'd debit or increase our accounts receivable. And then where we had a decrease for the year, we'd credit or reduce our accounts receivable. Okay, let's look at the case here where we'd had a $5,000 reduction in our unearned revenue for the year. So we'd debit or decrease our unearned revenue by $5,000, and then our balancing entry here would be to credit our revenue account or increase it by $5,000. Now, where we also had an increase here in our accounts receivable of $50,000 for the year, we'd debit our accounts receivable for that amount, and then we'd go and we'd credit our revenue account or increase our revenue account by dollars $50,000. Now to determine our accrual basis, all we would do is take our cash basis here, uh, those are the cash re receipts that we've received during the year, and that would have been a credit amount here of $100,000. And then we just add the other credits here for the unearned revenue and the accounts receivable of $5,000 and $50,000. So our accrual base would be, would be that sum amount here of $155,000 in our credit to our accounts receivable. Okay, let's look at the example here where we had an increase in our unearned revenue for the year of $6,000. So we'd credit or increase our unearned revenue for $6,000, and then the balancing entry would go to our revenue account here, and we'd debit or decrease that for $6,000. Now where we had this decrease here in our accounts receivable of $10,000 for the year, we would have credited our accounts receivable, and then the balancing entry would have gone to our revenue account here, or a debit amount here, a reduction of $10,000. So to determine our accrual basis, we just look for the balancing amount here between our debits and credits. So we had a $100,000 cash basis for the uh, receipts that we received here in cash, and then we'd be subtracting out these debit amounts here of $6,000 for the unearned revenue and $10,000 here for the accounts receivable. And then that balancing amount here would be $84,000. And that would be our accrual basis. 
Okay, in summary here, and converting from a cash basis to an accrual basis, we use our unearned revenue account, which is a liability on the balance sheet, and our accounts receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet. And we look for any changes in those accounts for the year or for the period. So if the change was an increase, we would have increased our account by that amount, or if the change was a decrease, we would have decreased the account for that amount. And then we would have balanced any increases or decreases in these unearned and revenues and these accounts receivable with the revenue account here on our income statement. So what to determine our accrual basis, all we did is we taken our cash basis here and reduced it or increased it by any changes here in our unearned revenue or accounts receivable and then the sum total amount would have been our accrual basis.